Hello, hello, hello. Uh, happy day today. It is sunny and spring-like in Seattle. And um, that's really exciting because it's been, <laughs> it's been pretty miserable. Um, and so I'm excited that it's springtime and we have got like daffodils and hyacinths and all the yummy stuff popping up um, and cherry blossoms. And I had this like deep thought because everybody's like, it's spring and it's too soon for spring. But I'm like, what if we didn't have a calendar? What if we didn't have anything telling us that this is supposed to be when spring start starts and that we just enjoy this awakening that is happening? So a couple of things, big, huge news announcement, April 18th to the 21st for you Seattle people. That is the weekend after Seattle Public School Spring Break, um, is the Spring Retreat, the Journey Back to Your Soul Spring Retreat. And um, I'm super pumped. It's in Leavenworth. It is at our hotel in Leavenworth, and um, everything is going to be held there. Um, and it is a room, board, breakfast, snacks, and lunch all included. And um, it's going to be awesome, y'all. It is going to be... Oh, so yummy. Okay. So la like last fall, I had another one and the most beautiful thing, just like aside from like the deep healing work and the just putting yourself first, these beautiful friendships and relationships, um, happened. And, uh, our little retreat group meets like monthly online and there are people who get together all the time now. And it just makes me so happy. So this uh, retreat is, um, we're going to be doing a little bit of shadow work. We're going to be doing a past life group hypno regression, which is super awesome. And so it's really about like learning radical responsibility for yourself, coming out of that victim, coming out of that martyr victim persecutor role and really understanding that every single person that you meet in your life is a teacher for you. And it is about healing um, those great teachers. And so when you look at your traumas, um, big T's, little T's, and you look at it as a, from the perspective of pre-birth planning, because we're going to be talking about pre-birth planning at the retreat, um, that our souls designed every experience, all of the people that we're connected with, all the people who have hurt us, so our soul could grow and learn and evolve. And so we are going to be doing meditations. I've got some yoga happening. I've got, um, what else do I have? Um, I've got uh, super awesome teachings. And like I said, like some group hypno and time to just be on your own and, you know, enjoy Leavenworth and go on nature walks and just really tune into yourself. So if you are interested, um, it is $1,800. Like I said, it's all inclusive except for dinner. Dinner, what wound up happening was that we'd all just go out to dinner together because Leavenworth's got some super awesome restaurants now. It's not all brats and beer, which I'm psyched about. Um, and so, uh, and if you, um, register before or by, sorry, I should say by March 17th, uh, you will receive 17, not 17. I don't know where I just got 17 from $200 <laughs> off the price of it. Um, so I will drop the link below. I'm also going to pin it at the, um, top of our group page. If you have any questions, I also have a payment plan um, available. So it's just $500 to um, reserve your spot and your room. And then um, we have payment plan options for you. So if you are interested um, and you are craving um, some time in nature, time in a super cute town and um, connecting with like-minded souls who are on a evolutionary spiritual path and you want to learn about energy work and all the good stuff, 
I invite you to join me because it's going to be super rad and I'm totally psyched about it. And it's going to be like kind of the end of April. So it's going to be like this whole little spring awakening there. So that is what I wanted to say about um, the retreat. And now today's topic is what are you manifesting? Hi, Chris. Um, and so I get this question asked a lot, you know, basically like, what is that secret to manifesting? And so if you have ever been a private client of mine, um, you know that you become like major manifestors. It's just, it's just the byproduct of the healing work that you do. Okay. And so the easiest way to, uh, describe manifesting is what you believe is what you receive. Okay. And so what are you believing about your life? What are you believing about your relationships? What are you believing about yourself? Okay. Because what you think creates what you feel. And then you, that's what you create. That's your experience of life. Okay. And so the big question is, what are you believing about yourself? Because as women in our society, we are conditioned to, to look negatively at ourselves. I mean, look at any like magazine or social media or, you know, whatever, talking to your friends. Okay. I'm watching my puppy. Who's like trying to get into an area that he's not supposed to be in. Let's hope this doesn't happen because I don't want to have to yell at him while I'm on the phone with you. Like, while I'm on the phone, because that's what I do. I'm still in the eighties sometimes. Um, but we have been conditioned by social media, by the patriarchy, by our society to believe negatively about ourselves. And then what happens is it just wreaks havoc on our mindset and what we believe about ourselves and our outlook on life, right? And I've come across countless, countless women who just you know, even if it's like a flippant, like, you know, self-deprecating, like, haha, I'm so funny. Like the shit that comes out of some women's mouths truly hurt my soul. It's like, is that really what you believe about yourself? It is so not okay at all. And so, you know, think about like, why we do this? Why do we do this? Right? And so when we start to pay attention to our thoughts, specifically what we're telling ourselves, you could either really create a life that you love or not. And so I love scientific data and I always think that this is a really cool fact. And so when you, so here we go with scientific data, when you think positively, and I'm not talking toxic positivity, okay? That is spiritual bypass. Okay. When you're just like, Oh, everything's great spirit. I'm just going to love and light, love and light. And you're not doing the work on yourself. That's toxic positivity. Okay. But when you are healing and you are doing the work and you're looking at yourself as, okay, why did these things happen for me? What is it that I need to learn and grow from the situation? How can I change my behaviors so that I could, you know, change my life? how can I heal my inner child? This is all the stuff that we're going to be doing in the retreat, by the way, like tons of inner child work. It's so yummy. I love it. Um, and then also like why you're in the relationships that you're in with people, whether it's intimate relationships or like family relationships or whatever, like who are those teachers in your life? Why did your soul sign up for it? That's all retreat stuff. I'm super pumped. Okay. So when you think positively and again, not, toxic positivity, your serotonin hormones, hi everybody, increase, okay? The serotonin hormone is your feel-good hormone, okay? And it leaves you, when you think positively, um, feeling happier and having a healthier and happier well-being, okay? Conversely, when we are thinking negatively about ourselves, and this just 
like floors me, but like not in the good way. But when you think negatively about yourself, not only does your serotonin level decrease, but your cortisol level, that's your stress hormone, increases. Okay, so think about how often we're talking negatively about ourselves or our lives or our kids or our partner or our coworker or whatever, right? Or the judgments that fly. Like I was in a yoga class earlier and there was this woman and um, I'm not gonna, I'll spare you the details, but I found myself like totally judging her because she was being really annoying in my, in my brain. I thought she was being really annoying and I caught myself and I went, okay, I'm judging her. Let's send her compassion. Like there's an inner child in there that is wounded, which is why she's saying the things that she's saying. And so when you're able to catch yourself and shift it, radical responsibility happens and transformation happens. And so ask yourself, like, is your brain complaining all the time? And how can you nurture yourself, heal your inner child, be compassionate, and really truly start to love yourself? Because as souls, no matter what your trauma is in this lifetime, souls who are in human bodies on the planet, what we have to learn above and beyond everything else is how to truly, truly, unconditionally love ourselves. Shadow pieces and all. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Again, I will post the link for the retreat. Um, I'm super pumped about it. Again, it's April 18th to the 21st in our hotel, Hotel Leavenworth um, in Leavenworth, Washington. For those of you who are out of town, because we had a bunch of out-of-towners last time, um, it's about two hours and 15 minutes outside of Seattle in the Cascade Mountains, and it's beautiful, and I love it. Okay, I invite you all to be there. And also, I don't invite, I mean, I do invite you all, but space is lim limited because um, I think we only have about um, 10 rooms. So the retreat is gonna be intimate and awesome. Okay, Mwah. see you on the flip side. Bye.